When was this tribe built? Uh, around 1948, I understand. It was built by, uh, his last name was Clements in Deckerville. And he hired uh, Doug Davis to run it. And uh, it was all built out of like cement board, asbestos board, whatever you want to call it. And the fence and the screen, everything except the buildings were made out of this material. And it was called a highway also? It was yes, it was, it was started right with the highway. Uh, but it, he was a, uh, a lumber yard, a lumber dealer in Deckerville. And when did you take over? Uh, my first wife and I bought it in 1968. Uh, excuse me, 69. We bought the Sandlack in 68. And the, the other owner owned both of them. He recommended, he, want, he decided, he, wasn't, he was going to run this for a few years. And his health got bad, so he decided to sell the drive in. And he recommended that I buy it. He said, You don't want to let one run without the other because there'd be too much competition. So I didn't want to do it, but my wife talked me into it, and I was glad I did. You don't regret it? Not a bit. Um, she, she took care of the one uptown, and I took care of this one, and of course in the wintertime I was uptown with her, so I, she was a little scared, but she was a good lady, and uh, she died of cancer in 88. How has business been lately? Well, it's since about the time that I kind of semi-retired. My son is taken over now, and, and uh, I just work in the drive-in in the summertime and try to go to Florida in the winter. But uh, about the time that I got out of it, 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 it there was a slow decline because of, uh, it seemed to uh, be because of a uh, shopping center in Port Yorn, Birchwood Mall. Uh, they already had a six screen down there, and uh, maybe it was an eight screen, I'm not sure, but that didn't seem to bother us. It was only about a mile away from the new one, but. But when they built the new one, uh, people could go down there and spend the day and uh, send the kids to the show and they could shop or vice versa maybe, I don't know, but uh, that's when it really, the, the videos didn't hurt us at first, uh, and I don't still think it was the videos, it was more the theater. It's got 180 posts, which makes 360 cars, which you double that again because you get, usually have two in a car at least, so you got 700, uh, you can, we used to, in fact, I've had 700 here. Uh, the last time was, was when Porky's first come out, the first Porky. We had 704 or something like that. How many days a week are open? We're open every day during the summer. From about the uh, 15th of June till Labor Day, we're open every night. And then uh, in the early spring from probably May 1st to, uh, until school gets out and then uh, with Labor Day, uh, we start going back to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, uh, we run that way through, usually through September, and then we close. We have so many people come in and you know thank us for being here, and hope we can keep going. And I, I just tell them as long as they keep coming, we can keep going. But uh, we're not making a fortune, but uh, we'll keep it all open as long as we can.